My mother was a radiologist, so um, it was very familiar to me as a profession. But that being said, um, I had sort of gone down this road of doing research for a while and then decided to come back into medicine. And uh, most of the research involved things in diagnostics, so it kind of made sense. I was interested in working with anatomy and physiology and sort of being more broad across medicine and radiology offered that. And then it also had all the technology, which was something that I had been doing a lot of research on. So it, it, it was a nice fit and it was something that was familiar to me as a clinical profession as well. And the resource that RCNA offers that I use the most is the journals. Um, your, the two flagship ones, uh, radiographics for my clinical work and radiology for my research work. And I can be fairly assured that most of the highlights and the important stuff is going to end up in those journals. So I really do, it enables me to keep up with the field um, fairly, in a fairly um, straightforward way and very quickly and be very up to date. So I use radiographics for my clinical work because um, it encompasses all the different organ systems and talks about the state of the art for clinical practice. Um, my trainees like it. It's educational in focus. It helps them with their board preparation. There's a lot of images in there, so we can always try and find something if we're stuck on a case. And it really is a very useful resource at, when we're reading out and trying to get clinical work done. Um, and then on the flip side, the radiology for me is a place where I go to know what's going on in terms of the developments in radiology and the research of clinical work. So most of the um, original research articles and the reviews out there in that journal is applicable to new emerging technologies that are ready to be tested or is being tested for clinical practice.